Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you do not miss any of your boys' videos. All right, guys, so today I am going to be doing a different kind of video. I am going to be doing top five reasons why social media is not as good as people make it seem. But I know people are going to be like, oh, then why do you do it? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? I try to stay away from all these things that kind of go on because social media is super big. Social media can be a platform on literally anything YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, anything. But it just. It has to do a lot with the creator itself who is creating the content. If you kind of just stay away from it, social media is also a very great place. But I do want to go ahead and show you guys because I know a lot of you guys, a lot of my supporters always tell me, hey, how do I start doing YouTube? Hey, how do I start doing this? And today I'm going to tell you guys the top five things, the worst things about social media so you guys can stay away from those issues and so you guys can help yourself grow and be bigger and better. So with that being said, guys, um, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to comment down below and leave a big thumbs up. It'll really mean a lot to us. That's what I start off with thing number one, the hate guys. People are always, always, always gonna hate on you no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing good, whether you're doing bad, whether you buy yourself a $2 pair of shoes, whether you buy yourself a $1,000 pair of shoes, people are always gonna have something to say about you. And I want you guys to understand, the more you guys learn to ignore it, the more you guys learn to push it to the side and not pay attention to it, the better it's gonna get for you guys. Trust me, people hate on you because maybe they don't have it like that or maybe they, they live a different life than what you live and they, they're hateful, they have anger towards you. But if you guys just ignore it, you guys learn to just push it away, trust me, it'll all go away. Just ignore it, trust me, you'll be fine. All right y'all, so thing number two is that people are constantly, constantly talking down on you and kind of comparing you or making it seem as if you're competing with someone else on social media. When in reality, you're just kind of doing you, you're kind of just enjoying your life and living your own life, you know? Um, there's a lot of instances where someone can be doing something and someone else will do something similar and automatically people will assume, this guy's competing with this guy or this girl's competing with this girl. And in, in some situations, that is not the case. Someone is just doing content and the idea came in for someone else or two people are doing the same type of content, but it doesn't mean that you're copying each other. It just means that you like the style of content because everybody does their own content in a different style, whether it is creating it more creatively or sitting down and doing a sit down video, but it has the same concept. Just cause you do the same style of video doesn't mean you're copying the other person. It just means that you like the style of the video and that you kind of want to recreate it in your own form. So don't always fall for the, oh, this person's competing with this person. Oh, this person's copying this person. No, social media is super big, but when a good video idea comes, everybody tries to make the best out of it and try to make their own content with it because at the end of the day, everyone has their different viewers, everyone has their different audience and everyone tries to please their audience according to what they do in the past. So don't always believe what people say when they say, oh, this person's copying or you're competing with someone. That is not the case, guys. In some instances, you never know, it might be, but not always. With that being said, let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, so thing number three eating tacos <laughs> anyways thing number three social media has gotten super 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 strict with literally everything you can't talk about certain things you can't talk about topics you can't bring up words you can't say none a lot of stuff because you'll get either shadow banned or demonetized and it just kind of it kind of sucks or canceled. or canceled literally like this day and age anything you say doesn't matter if you say it in a in a mean way or you say it in a way to hurt someone People will literally get that, clip it, and make it seem like you're saying something that you're totally not, or they'll make it seem like you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. But that is one of the main things that kind of sucks about social media. You, for anything you do, anything you say, you're done for, basically. Like, you get canceled, you get shadow banned, everything. Social media is super strict right now, and I feel like it's only gonna get worse. What do you think? What? It's only gonna get worse, or it's yeah. gonna get better? Mm -hmm. I don't know how about that. Yeah. So hopefully later on, you know, it gets better and things start calming down. But for now, it looks like we're stuck just basically being limited to what we can talk about, limited to what we can say. Are you not going to show me your video? Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, how are you guys liking this video? Every new topic, I'm sitting somewhere different. So for number four, I'm about to do it right now. I'm going to go somewhere else. Really? That's cool. So let's go on to number four. I just came here to be on my teacher, guys, but <laughs> I agree with everything you're saying. Period. Should we do number four? Number four? Number with four. me? Let's go. All right, guys, so option number four, what was it? Oh, I remember, I remember. 
people don't really do social media for the love of it anymore. I feel like when I started doing this, I was creating content that I love doing, challenges, videos, um, pranks, everything. And nowadays people kind of, they start getting into social media with the idea that they're gonna start making thousands and thousands and thousands right away. But in reality, this is hard, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes a long time. It takes months after months, sometimes even years after mm -hmm. years, just before you even start making money. And luckily I was blessed enough to where I didn't have to wait that long, but even then it was still, my first months were super rough. Like yeah. it was hard. We and still have like, we all still have our days. So. Yeah. So I feel like people don't really understand that social media has its days. It can be up one day. You could be making so much money, but the next day, boom, you're done and you're making. And that's why anything. like we invest in other things. Like YouTube is not our only, um, income. What is it called? Yeah. Income. Yeah, income yeah. Like we invest in like stores and everything. Mm -hmm. Like we're not just going to stick with youtube because we don't know where youtube can go like yeah so if you know? guys remember like in my q a where i answered if i do other things that's why i do other jobs i'm the manager at their store like i said we do yeah, my brother's yeah. store um it's good to just have other little things to do besides mm -hmm. just social media because you never know one day you could just boom crash and yeah but I it's been long. doing good for us yeah it's, it has its months it's thankfully it's been good but it has its months where it's higher than others or lower than others and you just never really know but that was option number four you look cute today. Thanks. I'm gonna be honest. Can I, I show them my nails? Yeah. Look, guys, I got my nails done because I have really a shoot really coming good. soon. Alrighty, guys. Thing number five is this is a big one, a super, super big one that I personally have seen, as well as many others. I feel like social media makes you forget the reality of life, and it makes you think that makes you hate your life basically because you see someone else living this fantasy life with cars with money with jewelry with everything but in reality those people struggle too those people don't have it perfect and one day they can be on top one day they can be on bottom you know social media does not necessarily need to shape what you want doesn't need to shape your future um social media tends to also lead you into depression to anxiety a lot of other things because you can't really have what others have so you're trying so hard and at the end of the day you can't have it because you're not as advanced or you're not doing as much as they do because you guys don't realize how much they do. What? Things take time. Yeah, everything takes time, everything takes effort, and just realize, guys, everyone struggles, everyone has their hard days, no one has it like that. Boom, no one makes money. Everyone came from nothing. Everyone came from nothing, and everyone can go back to nothing in the blink of an eye. So don't ever forget, you start at the bottom, and you, know, you never know, you can end at the bottom and come back up, you can just have a steady life like that, or you can start at the bottom and go up and never come back down, but just, Never really forget the reality of your life and don't ever hate your life because you too, you one day will get wherever you want to be, right? Period. Let's head back to the table to close off this video. So we'll see you guys. All right guys, so we are back at the table and I am ready to close off Hi. this video. <laughs> what do you think about my options? Was I, was I think that they're all right? good. Like people need to hear it too, you know? Like, yeah, you guys need to see the reality of what social media is like. And those five things that I just explained to you guys were the worst things about social media that I personally have experienced and I'm sure you have experienced as yeah, well. everyone has. Like, it's not just like, oh my God, It's not always YouTuber. sunny days. Yeah, it's not always sunny days and money and design and everything. Everyone has their bottoms where they hit rock bottoms. And we still bottom. work for our shit. <laughs> Your dad gave it to me. That's cool. When people say like, oh, but you guys don't work as much as we do, blah, blah, blah. Like, we have to, we start, okay, for example, like Sebastian Ian, we start, we start from the bottom and we're like, growing that business up it's like walmart and they even start from even somewhere. just recently um we closed it the store and starting the website again you're basically starting from bottom yeah. we started from no clothes at all building the way back up you know even How though even though the store already ran it already had a front store it had everything we still started from the bottom again just to bring it back up yeah how do you think like all these places that you guys work at are big because someone had to like invest their time and that's exactly what mm -hmm. we're doing we're starting our own business starting from scratch and then we're slowly bringing it up yeah. and that's basically all our hard work you know and thanks to you guys that were able to do all this so yeah that's something that we will never forget yeah you know? Anyways, guys, I think that is going to be the end of today's video. I kind of just wanted to bring this video. It was a super last minute video, if I'm being honest. But it was a video that came to mind and I was like, you know what? I feel like this is something that people need to see. Especially now that I'm vlogging every other day. If, by the way, if you guys are liking that, make sure to comment down below. But I wanted to kind of just bring it up to you guys so you guys can see the reality of what it's like doing social media. It's, it's, it's different. It's a different type of job, but it yeah, still but works. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Breathe. Peace. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the right, yeah, he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up to clear out my eyes, hit record. 